Elon Musk is at it again, and by again, we mean tweeting Tesla reservation counts. This time, it was for 200,000 deposits for Tesla's new Cybertruck. That's despite a now infamous launch last Thursday that saw the supposed shatterproof glass. Well, it shattered. For more on these reservations, it is Bloomberg's Dan Hole who covers the EV maker. Can we believe the $200,000 uh, 200, reservation number, even though the deposit is $100 and that's refundable? I believe it. I mean, I think that this truck does have appeal, particularly to younger people, to people in L.A., to, to gamers. I mean, you know, it, it, a lot of people have said that at first they hated it, but over the weekend they came to love it, and it looks like nothing else on the road. So even though the vehicle is far from production, I, I believe that... 200,000 people have put down reservations. And Dana, it's been three days, but I cannot stop watching the video that we're showing, and it is shattering that glass. Uh, uh, what was their reasoning that they've been coming out with in the last few days about why that glass shattered? Yeah, so, I mean, uh, you're not alone. I, I think I've watched it like 20, <laughs> 20 times. So um, first, Elon tweeted out a video that shows Franz testing the glass before the big demonstration, and then he tweeted yesterday that um, when they when they when they hammered the the car with a sledgehammer, uh, that 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 somehow hurt the glass. But that doesn't explain why the second window also shattered. So there's still a lot of theories floating around on the internet as to what exactly happened. You know, it's interesting because my very smart producers and I were talking about this, and we thought, well, wouldn't you want your window to be able to shatter in the case of an emergency situation? You think you're underwater, you've driven into the ocean or something. I mean, wouldn't you want to be able to get out? Well, right. I mean, I don't quite. Yeah, that that is. <laughs> That is a legitimate question. I mean, in an emergency, how do how do first responders break the glass? Yeah, yeah very, very interesting. We'll we'll have to continue to monitor that. I want to talk about another statistic in your story, which seems to be also good news for the company, where you have the base price about forty thousand dollars, but of those orders, mm -hmm. it looked like more and more were uh, were upgrades or the dual engine models. Walk me right. through the composition of what we know. Yeah, so this is all going to change because this is just based on Elon's tweet. But he said that like forty two percent of reservations had ordered the highest end, which was like roughly seventy thousand dollars, and the other forty two percent had offered had had ordered. The 50,000, but again, these are just $100 deposits. You can't really configure your car until it's closer to production, which is another two years away. But it shows that people are willing to pay, um, and you know, and that there's not as much appetite for the high end, for the lower end version. And we were speaking with Gene Munster over at Loop Ventures, and I can help illustrate this if you come and take a look at a chart here that I'm showing inside my terminal, where he said the pressure is short of off Tesla right now. They have a really good leeway, good leg room to run here given their free cash flow has turned positive. They're more profitable right now. So this really gives them some time to go back and look at that production target. Do you agree that right now they're in a fairly decent position to be looking at this cyber truck and the production? Yeah, I mean, I think the company's goal has always been to kind of disrupt every market segment, and trucks is a huge segment. The Ford F-150 is the number one selling, number one selling vehicle in America, and in order to really, you know, electrify, electrify electrificate the segment they need to take on trucks. But yeah, I mean, they've had a positive run. They had that surprise third quarter profit.